Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So I have an amazing update for you guys. Google is hiring software engineering intern. Yes, you heard it right. Now you have a chance to get an internship at Google, but this is in summer 2026. Yes, you heard it right. But for this internship, you have to apply this year. Not this year, but right now only. Because this is on first come first serve basis. They haven't specified any deadline that you have to apply till this date. But this is first come first serve basis. So apply as soon as possible because they can close this registration link anytime. So the link, don't worry, you will get in, get in the description box of this video. Uh, but maybe after a few days when you click on that link, that would be like uh, this job doesn't exist. Such kind of thing message you will get. Okay. But first watch this video completely because I'll tell you the complete detail. Uh, what are the eligibility crit criteria? How to apply? What is the selection process in Google? And what are some... Uh, you know, the topics or the DSA or what you need to prepare for this uh, internship or the interview. What is the selection process? So the complete detail I'll tell you in this lecture. Don't worry. Right in this video. So basically Google come up with this such internship every year. Okay. So it's for software engineering intern summer 2026. First, let me tell you the eligibility criteria and it's a paid internship. And normally it's Google. So it's a top company. So you will get paid very good uh, around 70 or 80 or sometimes like 1 lakh also but that they haven't disclosed this thing but you will get a very good stipend don't worry it's paid internship okay now who are eligible for this internship see the currently minimum qualification is you should be currently pursuing a bachelor degree or master degree in computer science or related technical field I guess BCA students are not or BCMC students are not uh, eligible to apply for this. Okay. Experience with one or the one or more general programming language, maybe DSA, uh, sorry, Java, C, C++, JavaScript, Go, etc. or Python. Any one language. You should be very good in any one language. Okay. Experience working in Unix and Linux environment also. Second, you have experience with software design. At least you have knowledge of software design, high level design, low level design, this thing. Now, preferred qualifications, these are preferred qualifications. They will give preference to the students who are in their penultimate year. Penultimate year means uh, if your degree is of four year, then you should be in third year. So they will give higher preference to third year students. But it's not like that. You can't apply. If you are in first year, you can apply for this. If you are in second year, you can apply. If you are in third year, final year, you can apply for this. But preference would be given to those who are in their third year, means penultimate year. Okay. But don't miss this chance. You have to apply. And experience with DSA. You should be very good in DSA. Then ability to work on projects related to mobile development, distributed and parallel system, machine learning, AI, Gen AI, and this kind of thing. If you, this is the preferred qualification. This is not minimum qualification. If you have knowledge of this, maybe if you have in your resume a project on machine learning or maybe distributed or parallel systems, or information retrieval, natural language processing, on AI, Gen AI, then you will be given higher preference. That's the way, that's the meaning of preferred qualification, right? Ability to showcase tech projects and participate in common science related extracurricular activities. So maybe if you have participated in these extra hackathon kind of thing or contest and all, and you have very good rating, so you will be given higher preference, okay? So one point is what? Uh, your resume will play a crucial role, right? So first thing is this. So you have to, you have to uh, work on your resume really. You have to maintain, you have to make your resume really good. So first is resume. Your resume should be ATS friendly. Your ATS, uh, score, ATS score should be as high as possible. Okay, so you have to include the keywords. What are required here? What are the this? These keywords are required. Maybe Gen AI, AI machine learning, and this kind of thing. If you have some projects on this thing, include that. If you have maybe built any chatbot, include that. This will give you higher preference. In try to include these keywords. Okay, but only if you are good in that thing. If you have done something, then only include. If you have some. Uh, on these uh, platform like maybe on code forces or lead code or this this you have some rating highlight that thing because that coding part your problem solving skills are really important when you go in google or maybe microsoft or amazon they check this thing your dsa is really important 
because obviously if your resume is good your resume is 80 is friendly then only you will get shortlisted and you will uh, move to the next round the interview round so very first stage is your resume please work on that include projects two to three projects high level good projects if you have highlight that okay what are main things highlight that include keyword make it ats friendly more on focus more on skills right and second thing which is required is now if you get interview call so uh, once you apply then uh, maybe after a few days or maybe after one month or two months also sometimes it takes two months you will get a call Inter uh, i mean just a telephonic telephonic interview kind of thing not proper interview but yeah someone from a non tech background or non tech uh, technical field they'll call you just your introduction and maybe if you have done some previously some projects or uh, internship they will ask you that kind of thing and they'll just uh, ask you for the tentative date of the interviews like when you are available for the interview it just would be 10 to 15 minute call and after that your first technical round would be scheduled first technical round and the main focus the main focus is on dsa will be on dsa only that's it you don't need anything just dsa any one programming language most probably java will be preferred and dsa because almost you will get a uh, two technical round would be there in every technical round you will be asked dsa questions medium to hard level and the important topics for dsa is are trees graphs you have to cover these questions trees graphs standard dp questions recursion sometimes backtracking i'll give you uh, one two that uh, you can say interview experiences also from google intern in the description box of this video the link you can go and read out that thing okay so you have to fo focus more on these but problems would be yes not easy level problem either medium or medium to hard level problems so basically the thing is your dsa should be really strong so it's okay you have time you can prepare for it because it will be started in may 2026 10 to 12 week internship and the things will take time this interview you're getting the interview call and all the interview process take four to five months so you have time still you can prepare okay and one more thing if you want to prepare and you are searching for a right resource you can go to my course there is a dsa with java course there we'll cover everything java as well as dsa and not just theory lead code question placement questions that are asked in uh, you know previous top tech companies and all so we'll cover everything here from basics to advanced right plus if you have any doubt during this course there is a live doubt resolution session we conduct every week so personally i'll be there you can join the session and you can ask a doubt and i'm here to answer in that live class plus you have a access to dedicated whatsapp group also so after enrolling in the course you can join that whatsapp group and there also you can interact with other uh, students who are in this group so it's like a community we have you can ask a doubt there so it's like i'm one message away from you that whatsapp group personally i will monitor so i'm there for 24 into 7 for you right you will get my detailed notes pdf of all the programs and everything right so you can check out this the link also you will you'll get in the description box of this video right now there is a coupon code gift 15 you can apply for this coupon code and you will get extra 15 percent discount and if you want to go only for dsa part not java part then there is a coupon dsa 45 you apply for that you will get extra like 45 percent discount and you will get access to dsa part only so in which whichever you are interested you can go and check out okay so basically the thing is also one more tip is when you answer during that technical round when you will be asked the questions and when you are answering the question suppose you are given a one problem statement that you have to solve this so it's not that you just try to solve that yourself you are not communicating with the interviewer no it's like you have to communicate with the interviewer you have to explain your thought process what what are you thinking start with the brute force approach and then try to optimize it talk with interview interviewers maybe they sometimes they also help you to find out the best solution explain time complexity space complexity so move from brute force approach to optimized approach or the better approach do not directly jump to optimized approach 
they actually want to know your thought process and one more thing there is a time limit so they have some uh, like uh, they generally ask to minimum they want to ask two questions in that 45 or 50 or 60 minutes so there is a time bound please try to solve questions uh, quick in less time and that thing thing comes when you practice on lead code more and more questions don't take much time it's not that uh, in 45 minutes you just solve only one question although your question you have solved very you have given a very optimized solution but they will not call you for the next round at least two question you have to solve during that time so please increase your speed of uh, solving questions so in that case you have to practice okay communication is really important they are also checking your dsa skills as well as your communication skills whether you are able to communicate with the interviewer you are able to uh, display or you can say uh, express your thought process what you are thinking while solving the question all the approaches and all ask questions if you have any doubt ask questions clarify your doubt and then explain everything your approach and like this right so you have to communicate during that 45 minute or 50 minute interview round then if you uh, shortlisted then there will be a second round in that round also they'll ask dsa questions in that round maybe dsa questions are a little bit hard medium to hard level two questions one may be medium level one is medium to hard level but topics would be these trees graphs uh, recursion dp backtracking sometimes segment trees also but that are really hard maybe sometimes you get you can get segment tree uh, question if you are not good in that at least you can just read the basics of what is segment tree that's it so um, this internship will start in may 2026 and will be for 10 to 12 weeks in duration it's a paid internship so you will need your resume plus official or unofficial transcript in english so your college will make this transcript or unofficially also you can just write down on a piece of paper and something like this it is just your marks if you have done your fourth semester or five semester just marks of those semester and that's it and yes the thing is what if you get selected what are the responsibilities you have to research create develop software applications and contribute to a wide variety of projects like utilizing natural language processing artificial intelligence data compression machine learning search technologies so the thing is see now if you already have such kind of projects in your resume maybe some machine learning project nlp project ai project chatbot kind of project in that case it's for sure that you will be given higher preference right so if you now go for such kind of uh, course also so i have a generative ai course there we will be uh, starting from the basics and then we'll go till the chatbot creation as well so you will be creating a chatbot that i guess you can include in your resume and that will be given you an edge over other candidates okay at least you have the idea about you are not blank that you don't know about gen ai or ai because if you know this thing you will be given higher preference so here we will cover first basics i'll tell you what is ai what is machine learning deep learning everything then what is generative ai what is chat gpt how things are working how chat gpt generate uh, responses then the key concept like llm tokenization embedding and rag fine tuning the basics of all the terms i'll tell you you'll not be like that i don't know anything about this these are in trend now right now and then we create a chatbot as well right so you have a like mini project also with you that you can include in your resume right so um here also you will be given my notes and all so right now uh, you can go for this and i guess uh, the offer is still valid that uh, ai 10 because on the huge demand we have extended this a few days more few days like uh, this is early bird offer it has already been expired but we have extended this a little bit more so you can use the coupon code ai 10 and you'll get extra 10% discount okay this will be really helpful for you if you want to apply for this internship and it just the course will take only 15 days every day you will get one lecture and that's it right so for this only in just brief if i tell you for this internship your resume should be really good because the first round is your resume should be shortlisted second you should be really good in dsa these two things are required that's it no core cs subject hardly they'll ask otherwise they'll focus on dsa only that's it right uh, and sometimes obviously uh, for resume selection your projects should be really good 
in your coding they it should reflect that you are good in coding you are good in problem solving skill basically your resume should reflect this thing okay and one important tip is what if you are able to arrange referral then it would be really good for you how you can arrange referral go on linkedin search the one who is working on google permanent employees not any intern or this employee any permanent employee working in google message them connect with them for that you just have to send like your resume and this you have applied for this internship that internship link the link you will get in the description box of this video don't worry you can just send that link that i have applied for this internship or such a thing and this is my resume and if uh, you have uh, something extra to highlight then you can add in the message that uh, you are a seven star coder something like this on some platform or you have solved this much lead code question okay such kind of thing if you have some extra thing or you have done some great project then you can mention in the message just extra things just like you know you know that highlighted thing that you think that yeah this is your usp okay because you are selling yourself then only they will refer you then why they will why someone will refer you if you don't have anything special in you so whatever usp you have mention that and if you get referral your chances of selection your resume selection would be really high okay otherwise a ah, little bit less but still if you are not able to arrange referral but still you have to at least try apply for it okay now i guess this thing will help you the link of everything uh, whatever we have discussed you will get in the description box you go and check out and uh, hopefully it will help you if you have any doubt you can just ask me in comment section but apply as soon as possible because it's first come first serve basis they can close the registration link any time right so now i'll see you in the next lecture till then bye bye take care